close as you can see here. Um, here to show you the wireless G axis points. Okay, so those are the lights you'll see going. Okay, uh, it's a little dark there, but this is web 54G. Um, to reset it, just going to show you real quick. You'll see the reset button right there. It's the basic plugs. So you'll take this, you have to stick it in there, you know, the reset, hold it for 30 seconds. Be safe. Um, and then you want to come on here on uh, Ubuntu, or actually L Ubuntu. L Ubuntu, yes. And uh, you want to set your network to that on your LAN. All right. So once you do that, Pull up this address. Okay, and then you want to go to the help tab. And then you'll get to this. So you see my firmware. We're going to try this out. Uh, so you'll see this part. Okay, so you want to browse to where you have it. We're going to go to the desktop, okay? So you see I already made a folder there. Okay, and I've already undone it, so I downloaded this online. It's a little bit tricky. It's not easy to find. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open that. Okay, so you see it's a .trx. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit upgrade. All right, and um, we'll wait. Take just a couple moments. Camera back, and now you can see it says it's uh, complete. I'm very complete. So, what I will do is I will actually reset this, and then we will see. See, you have that there, and we'll see what the new one says. Okay, so what I did is, um, after that, I actually just hit the enter button like this. Okay, so when I did that, you know, uh, it brought back up this. This looks a little bit cleaner. I went to status. And now I can see I have that firmware version now working correctly with that. Okay, so... We have successfully done this upgrade. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll load the uh, DD-WRT next. Okay, and if you're wondering what version of this I have, uh, let me just go ahead and show you real quick. So I have the version WEP version 2.0. It's kind of hard because I got my phone's plugged in here, but. Uh, Here's the actual site I used. Once again, it's a little hard to see, but it's Linksys WAP54G V2.0. Okay. And you would find that at dd wrt.com forward slash site forward slash support forward slash router dash database. And you would look it up there. Okay. So give me one moment. Okay, so <clears throat> in this one it's a lot cleaner looking. Uh, the interface is different. So we're going to go ahead and click, uh, as you can see, right here. I'm going to once again browse. 
over to this, which they recommend. No, give me one minute. Well, actually, we might have to change it to a .trx, but we'll give it a shot here and see what happens. Okay, uh, back in the one ahead and actually renamed it. So what we're going to do is uh, we are going to try what is recommended here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it. So that's what we have sitting here. And like I said, this is the Linksys. So there you go. All right. That firmware is what I'm sitting at. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. And you can see the uh, firmware upgrade is much better on this one. This is per the DD-WRT instructions on the actual site. So you can see or during upgrade. All right, so we'll take a look here and see what happens. And we'll come back. Okay, we're back. You saw there was an error there, so now I'm going to try it with just that one. So let's give it a shot. Well, this time we'll try and see if that works. Instructions online are not too uh, savvy. And you know, so I decided, let me go ahead and do a little bit of a firmware upgrade first. Okay, we had a successful upgrade. So I'll go ahead. Okay, so that was actually how you really are supposed to do it. The instructions are all different. I'll actually zoom in and show you. Okay, it's doing some looking down here. It's Say here. I can just do one. Okay. Okay. So there you are. You see that the DDWRT um, has actually done the correct upload. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and change the password. All right, and just for this, uh, I'm going to pause it and set it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change our password and our router username. Okay, so that's, like I said, what you'll need to come up to. It'll come up to that, so I'll be using that anymore uh, you can see what we have set up there okay you can see we have everything set here uh, I'll show you the firmware real quick
Okay, so you want to use the micro. All right, and uh, there we have it. And that is on this. You've now seen me do the actual DD uh, WRT and So if I can get it in there. A little blurry, but it basically says web fifty four G V two. So if I can just kind of there. All right, and you're probably wondering, so where did I get this wonderful information from? You know, like I said, I used Ubuntu to do this. All right, well, oops. So we're like, okay. Oops. And we're in system uh, preferences. Either one more like, I should have known this before I did all this. Trying to look just for references. Ah, uh, come on. Doing it the wrong way, guys. <laughs> Let's have a system profiler. There. That's what I meant to go to. So it says that, but uh, that's what it's saying. But here's how I close out. Once again, so where was I? Yeah. There, just want to make sure I got that in there to show you. So I am on Ubuntu doing this, which is what I recommend. This is an older machine. And, uh, okay, and here is the link. You know, a little bit clearer. And I had to use so this one wasn't actually all the way right I used part of it but uh, I don't recommend so here it says okay I download the latest 3.4 3.04 then he says that he renamed it so you got the watch okay and I tried the link that he did and that didn't work either so you do not need to rename it to uh, uh, TRX you will not and like I said if you're looking for the info oh here's another here's another place you can download um, you can download that if you need okay if you need to grab it here's another place you can see they got the, uh, the actual uh, FTP links all right and uh, like I said, uh, oops. here is the actual site. Let's see if I can get it in there. Not really. Just come on here. You'll see all this. Here I actually see the download files. And I used this one, the first one, the top one right there. <laughs> micro underscore generic dot bin. I did not use that second one. Okay, and uh, it'll give you the information. Um, like I said, you saw kind of how I did it. Go on here. Oops. And uh, you'll be able to do this. This is Ken C. Thank you.